Paul Gascoigne has spent years battling alcoholism. While filming the documentary, he was clean, but was brutally honest about the chances of a relapse. You know, hopefully it doesn't happen again, but if it does, I'm really sorry because I'm an alcoholic. But I'll keep on trying. And I'll try my best until I actually can get this. Until then, I don't know if I can. I really do do. Make yourself comfortable. Oh. You been well? Yeah, not bad, mate. Good, Working good. out, trying to keep fit. Excellent. Okay, can you frown for me, Paul, please? As hard as you can, maybe screw your nose up a little bit as well. Alcohol abuse can cause premature ageing, and Gaza now spends a thousand pounds a year on Botox. I mean, I don't hate it. The fact I get Botox, it makes me feel good. But Gaza knows his problems are more serious than worrying about how he looks. Fuck! I hope I don't die to it. I hope I don't die to it because I won't get any sympathy. Because all I get was, he, well, he was warned. But at least I know if I did pass away through it, at least I wouldn't be this pain all the time. Gaza's relationship with alcohol first hit the headlines 17 years ago after he mimicked a drinking stunt on the pitch in Euro 96. Two years later, he was admitted to rehab, seeking treatment for drink problems. In 2001, he admitted himself to a clinic in Arizona. And he returned there in February this year after famous friends lined up to fund his stay. But after leaving rehab, the problems continued. In August, he was fined £1,000 for a drunken assault on a train guard. The Professional Footballers Association tries to help players with alcohol and addiction problems. The man in charge of welfare says Gaza can beat his demons. If Gaza came in front of me today, I'd probably say, you know, Paul, let's just sit down, let's just stop and you just don't wake up being an alcoholic or a drug user so there's a route to something and I think what I'll be probably looking at is what trying to work out what the route is because I think if you get to the root issue uh, you won't have to drink or gamble or take drugs to block out whatever that issue is. It's there, always there. Playing football with his nephew there's a glimpse of the old Gaza but of the future he's scarily pessimistic. I don't think I'm going to be all right definitely not. We're all dying Jim. we're all dying. Staying sober won't be easy, but Gaza says he'll keep on trying. Leila Hayes, 5 News.